Hello and welcome to uh, lesson three on multiple selections. How to select multiple items at the same time. This gives a lot of problems to some of the uh, for beginners Photoshop students. And let's go ahead and use the same uh, assignment lesson three to do multiple selections. So let's go ahead and do a selection with our object selection tool. There's selection number one. And at the same time, let's go ahead and make a different selection using selection two. So how would you make another selection that is separate from this one? Well, we're going to subtract from the selection or we're gonna to add to the selection. So I'm gonna to add to this selection, this plate. And I'm gonna to add to this selection. Let's go ahead and add magnetic lasso tool. Let's go ahead and zoom in and let's add, hit the plus. If you don't see anything like this, no plus, no minus. If you click right now, these two selections will be gone. So you would wanna hold down the shift key for the addition to the selection. And I'm going to add this Nautilus shell. Click in the junction right in the middle, the inflection point, and continue selecting the Nautilus shell. When you're done, click on the Nautilus shell. So we have three objects selected. We can continue, select more objects. Let's go ahead and use the rectangle tool. Again, make sure it's the plus sign that is shown. And now we're going to use the magic wand tool. Okay, this is added. We need to subtract now this white space. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and subtract. Notice the Nautilus tool got affected because we're using the magic wand tool. So this is not a good thing. So Control Z to undo, let's do it a different way. Let's go ahead and not use this one right now. We'll do it separately. So I'm gonna rechange to the to the uh, to my rectangular selection tool. I'm gonna subtract what I just added. So I'm gonna just subtract this. I don't want that to be a selected. Now let's go ahead and use the circular marquee tool to select this bolt. I'm going to use a left mouse button to make a circle, use the space bar to align the circle, and there's my selection. I just messed up. I made a new selection. Notice all the other ones stop being selected. So let's do control Z to undo that. Now use, hold down the shift key. I'm holding down the shift key as I'm drawing my circle. I just made a mistake. I let go of my mouse button. Oh my God. So let's go ahead and redo this by control Z to undo the last thing we did. Hold down the shift key, do a selection, hold down the shift key, hold down the left mouse key, press the space bar, align it, and let's go ahead and finalize the selection. And now I'm going to re remove the left uh, finger off of my mouse, left mouse button. There's my one, two, three, four selections. I'm going to go ahead and say select layer, new layer via cut. Notice everything is on one layer. See that? These four, uh, these four objects I selected are all on one layer. But never fear, it's really easy to select all of them again. You can right click and select pixels. All of them will be automatically selected. That's the beauty of having layers. You can right click and select, select pixels and everything gets selected. Now I can use, let's see what I wanna use. I'm gonna use the quick select tool to unselect things I don't want. I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger, bigger tool. And I'm just going to unselect this, unselect this. So I got my screws only. I'm going to go ahead and say layer, new layer via cut. There's my screw by itself. Layer two, screw. 
by itself. Again, right click, select pixels. Everything is selected. I'm gonna use my quick select tool with a minus sign to only select the plate. I'm gonna go ahead and select a layer new via cot. There's my plate. Now I only have two more things to select. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna use a different tool. Right? I just went ahead and reselected it. I'm gonna go ahead, go to layer, new via cot. Notice there's a little bit I left behind. If you don't wanna leave a little bit behind, you have to do select pixels. For instance, I'm gonna go ahead and do select pixels. Notice this is the Nautilus shell is selected and notice the few pixels are left behind are selected. Well, I don't want these pixels left behind. I'm just gonna go ahead and select them by holding down the Alt key, see the minus? And left dragging all around the pixels. And now I'm gonna say layer, new layer via cut. Well, I don't have to create a new layer via cut. All I have to do is get my eraser tool out, get my thing big enough, and erase all of these pixels. I can just go ahead and deselect them and erase all the pixels. So when I click right click and select pixels, only the Nautilus gets selected, right? Once you maybe delete something, it's gone. See, there's a hole in the Nautilus now. Control Z, Control Z. There's my Nautilus. So I'm going to rename this as Nautilus. This is silver dollar or sand dollar dollar. And what is this? This is my plate. So altogether, there's all my images. And there's And there's my work. And now I can start moving them around again, whatever that may be. Nautilus, there's my Nautilus, there's my screw, there's my silver dollar, all on the separate layers makes it much easier to move around. I know I'm being repetitive in saying what I'm saying, but this actually is very important. You can also select, if you wanna move multiple layers at the same time, you can select the, under the layers option, left, like one layer, holding down the control key, selecting another layer, and now you can move those two layers. Anyway, this concludes this particular uh, um, addition to lesson three multiple selections at the same time. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in lesson four.